the Metrodome in downtown Minneapolis, and we're ready for our first game of the day. Coming out of the Midwest region as 14th seeded North Dakota State takes on the defending national champion. So let's take a look at the bracket here in the Midwest. Our next game, 6 versus 11, Bob Huggins and the West Virginia Mountaineers against Dayton. And then later on, we'll have the ACC versus the Pac-10, BCSC, and then second seeded Michigan State against Robert Morris. Our lineup here. North Dakota State, Ben Woodside, he's their best player, had 60 points in a game this season. Meanwhile, for uh, Kansas, Sharon Collins is their best player. He can move up and down the floor. Good player both offensively and defensively. Saul Phillips in his second season as the head coach, longtime assistant at Wisconsin, also assisted here at North Dakota State before taking over the head coaching job. On the other sideline, Bill Self led his team to the national championship a year ago with a 75 to 68 win over Memphis and they're playing just as well this season. Your officials, Collins, Dorsey, Stafford. Today's game brought to you at High Definition Television by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high definition television and mobile media. Gus Johnson, Len Elmore with you from the Metrodome. Four good games on tap today. And Lenny, as this one gets ready to begin, what should we pay attention to? Well, certainly North Dakota State is America's darling right now. 14 seed, but they dominated the Summit League, winning 16 games there this year, their first eligible year for the NCAA tournament. And certainly Kansas, you talk about returning national champs, although Bill Self will tell you this is a completely different team. they got size, they've got depth. The question is going to be experience. North Dakota State, four redshirt seniors on their starting five. Kansas, only Sharon Collins is a starter coming back from last year's national championship team. So here comes North Dakota State. They run a motion offense. Woodside will have the ball most of the time. And he's guarded by Collins, one of the best defenders in the Big 12. Well, one of the things Saul Phillips told us is in their motion offense is Mike Nelson gets a lot of good looks that well, they're feeling like they're rolling. Collins the other way, and he throws it out of bounds. So a turnover already for Kansas. But for North Dakota State, they come into this game winners of seven in a row, including a 66-64 win over Oakland and the Summit League Tournament Championship. Woodside hit the game winner. North Dakota State has won 18 of their last 19. And Lenny, this is like a home game for them. They're about six hours away, Fargo, North Dakota. I'll tell you what, it looks like the whole state of North Dakota is here. Ball kept in this alive. Arena. And saved from going out of bounds. A lot of gold and green. This is Winkleman, their second leading scorer. He averages close to 20 a game. You take a look at North Dakota State. Very patient right now against Kansas, but this is a team that averages 81 points a game, so you know they want to play up-tempo. Baseline jump shot pure for Mike Nelson. He's a senior from Madison, Wisconsin. And North Dakota State is on the board. Well, averaging 12 points a game, and Nelson 40% from beyond the arc. As we saw, he can shoot it. Ball knocked away. Winkleman trying to track it down. And look at the bodies on the floor already. North Dakota State playing with tr tremendous energy early. As you take a look, they're located in Fargo, out of the summit. First NCAA Division I appearance. They have gone to the tournament at the Division II level. Now Collins, Aldrich, he can shoot it. He can shoot it, but maybe not from that spot. And Lenny, what are the keys to the game? Well, for North Dakota State, they've got to keep Ben Woodside on the floor. He's the spark plug that fires the engine, particularly on offense. And for Kansas, they've got to put the buys in the pasture early. They can't let North Dakota State hang around too long. Otherwise, they'll believe they can beat this team. Tweet picked up the foul. His first. So Kansas, they have won six of their last eight, 25 and seven. Collins inside, tough shot, and he knocked it down. Well, Sharon Collins, fourth in the Big 12 and scoring all conference first team. He's the other leader, the mirror image almost of Ben Woodside from North Dakota State. And also a tremendous defender, Sharon Collins, from a tough neighborhood in Chicago. Certainly has a matchup. Bears watching. Tweet fires and hits it again. One thing about North Dakota State, they're ranked fifth 
in the nation, Lynn, and three-point field goal percentage at 41%. So they can really stroke it. And they'll stroke it not only in their half-court set, but certainly in transition. Tweet, 21 points against Oakland in the Summit League final. Collins off the mark. Morris with a rebound. And stick back. So they have a couple of... A set of twins, rather, on this Kansas team. It's Markeith Morris and Marcus Morris. Well, here's where Kansas really has to get the job done on the boards. Number one in the Big 12 in rebound margin at plus seven. And Morris right there with a nice job of just getting good defensive offensive position on the glass. Marcus Morris, the younger twin, by seven minutes. Tweet picked up his second foul at the 17-29 mark of the first half. As Morris knocks down the free throw. And the Twins are from Philadelphia. And we talked about North Dakota State. This being kind of a home game for them. 12,000 North Dakota State grads in this area, the Twin Cities. Collins down the lane, comes up short. Woodside wants it, is not taking a shot. Here's a pick and roll. You take a look at number 40, Lucas Mormon setting screens at the high post. He's got to be able to keep Cole Aldrich honest. Jump shot off the mark for Mormon. And here come the Jayhawks. Taylor, young man from Hoboken, New Jersey. Inside and a whistle. Looks like another foul coming up, and this will go against North Dakota State. Well, we see North Dakota State's strategy down low. They know that they're outmanned from a side standpoint. They're going to aggressively double any type of post-entry pass. Mormon call for the foul. That's his first. And Tyshawn Taylor, the inbounder. Here's Collins. Guarded by Mike Nelson inside Aldrich. And that's where they need to have the big fella close to the basket. With that length, they've got the ability to do a number of things. Straight entry pulses, alley-oop. For Kansas, their rules are simple today. They want to take care of the ball, take good shots, and a rebound. Baseline good. Winkleman. So North Dakota State comes out shooting it well. Winkleman. Knocks down his first shot. And we have a 9-7 game. Again, the idea, Aldridge on the move, looking for those entry passes in the post. Taylor. Long rebound, picked up. Here comes Nelson in transition. Straight to the bucket, left hand short. Taylor, the freshman, rips it down. Diagonal pass, rise and fire, Collins. Got it. Sharon Collins is a great player. Came up with huge plays during the national championship run last year for Kansas, especially in the national championship game. And he gives the Jayhawks a one-point lead. Woodside turns the corner and banks it softly. Well, when you're 5'11 and you're an explosive scorer, you need to have that soft, high-arcing runner. And Ben Woodside has perfected that. Collins popping out. Puts it on the deck, hard to the bucket, and hits. So Collins going to work early and often here. He has seven points. One point game. Baseline Nelson with the step. Inside, nice play and a foul. 14-47 to play first half. 12-11, Kansas. Welcome back. One point game, a three versus a 14. Kansas leading North Dakota State. Kansas out of the Big 12, North Dakota State, winners of the Summit League. Gus Johnson, Len Elmore with you. Vacillating pace, Len, to start. Well, again, both teams trying to feel each other out. Neither one afraid to play the up tempo game, but obviously, North Dakota State wants to be able to make it a baseline to baseline game because usually that takes the big guys out of the game. Collins coming back on the floor. Lucas Mormon from Dickinson, North Dakota at the free throw line. He was fouled by Marcus Morris. And the first free throw good for Mormon. He averages close to five points per game. Not a very good free throw shooter. 
coming into this game 13 of 30. That's 43 percent. They feel that he's a very good interior defender, a chest up defender. What does that mean? Well, that means the guy who's going to get into your grill and be able to stay with you step for step, challenge your jump shots, and really never lose. So Collins off to a good start, has seven points for Kansas. Joined by Morningstar, the shooter, Morris. Aldridge popping out. Baseline. Reed to the bucket. No good. Out of bounds and will stay right here. So now a sub will come in. And this is Eric Carlson. Coming in for North Dakota State. And Lucas Mormon will take a seat on the bench. Shot clock down to three. Collins the lob inside. Morningstar comes up short. Good idea. Woodside turns the corner again and gets to the bucket. He can score points in bunches. Ben Woodside is a Steve Nash type point guard for college basketball. Collins the other way. Up high and in. So again, we talked about both of these guys' experience. Ron Collins played significant minutes last year for the national champions. And Ben Woodside, a guy that redshirt senior, been waiting for this moment. Big jump shot goes down for Josh Vaughn. And North Dakota State takes a 17-14 lead. And they've been able to do it primarily beyond the arc, although Woodside with some penetration. North Dakota State doing a nice job defensively helping. They have closed down on all shooters. Except for Collins. He fires off the bounce and buries it. Back and forth they go here in Minneapolis. A three versus a 14 as the defending national champion Jayhawks are getting their money's worth against North Dakota State. 17-16, Aldridge rips it down. And here come the Jayhawks in transition. Collins off the dribble. Got it again. Uh-oh. Heat check time for Sharon Collins. He averages 18. He has 13 here in the first half. Ben Woodside. Good switch out there by Cole Aldridge just to make sure that Woodside doesn't get off a jumper on that screen and roll. Woodside guarded by Collins. Drives. And he gets his pocket pick. Reed straight to the cup. And it's stripped and he's fouled. Josh Vaughn picks up the foul. Now the winner here will take on the winner of our next game, West Virginia Dayton, the six versus an 11. And that should also, Len, be a, a terrific ball game. Big East versus the Atlantic 10. Well, West Virginia has beaten Pittsburgh at times, the number one team in the nation. And they've demonstrated that they can rebound with the best of them. Reed shoots two. So Tyrell Reed from Burlington, Kansas, a sophomore at the line. Comes up short. He averages seven points a game. 81% free throw shooter. Wholesale substitutions coming in for Kansas. And this is where Kansas really has to kind of uh, get their advantage going. They've got a deep bench. You know, a number of guys that come on and play significant minutes. In fact, they've got eight guys that play 12 minutes or more. Now, combined with that size, they're hoping to wear North Dakota State down. 1970. Here comes Woodside. Good play virtually the entire game. North Dakota State four for four from the three-point line. Nelson. Step back three. And here come the Jayhawks. Appleton to the bucket. Strong, tapped up and in, though, by Morris. Weak side rebounding. We've seen it several times by Kansas right now. Again, a team that's very adept at hitting the glass on both ends of the floor. That was Markeith Morris, the older twin that comes off the bench. Winkleman posting. Inside, beautiful. 
Sweeping the switch inside. Markeith Morris has got to be able to close off that middle, much the same way Cole Aldridge is able to do. North Dakota State hanging tough. Morris off the heel, and Nelson pulls it down. 21-19, Woodside. Baseline jump shot, Tweet. Out of bounds, and we'll head the other way. 10.53 to play first half. Close game in Minnesota. 21-19, Jayhawks. Twenty-one nineteen, Jayhawks on top of the Bison from North Dakota State. As Sharon Collins of Kansas comes back in, he is red hot. Thirteen points for Collins, and this young man really setting the tone for his team. Well, over the last eight games, coming into this one, he's averaged about twenty-three points a game. Really taking the load offensively, and again with his experience from last year, played significant minutes. Primarily off the bench, he and Cole Aldridge, the most experienced guys on this team. Aldridge only played eight minutes a game last year. Baseline, Morris picks it up, fires, comes up short. Winkleman in the rebound. North Dakota State said they wanted the gang rebound this afternoon. Everybody had to get a couple. Woodside, guarded by Taylor. Right now, without Aldridge in the game, and Lucas Mormon for North Dakota State having to take the bench with a couple of personal fouls. It's a little bit of a different game. When Aldridge comes in, we'll see if there's anyone on North Dakota State that can draw him out of the middle. Five to shoot. Winkleman has to hurry. Three to shoot. Turn around baseliner. Strong. And here come the Jayhawks. Vaughn in transition. Nice look, Taylor. And Kansas takes a 23 to 19 lead. Kansas doing a nice job now of continuing to shadow the ball handlers, challenge jump shots after a flurry of threes by North Dakota State. And as we mentioned, North Dakota State averages about 80 points a game. They'd like to run. Woodside. He can shoot it off the bounce as well, folks. Complete package, 23-22. And as soon as I talk about challenging shots, <laughs> Woodside gets an open look. Woodside has seven. He's very patient. Remember, he had a 60-point game this year against Stephen F. Austin in a loss. Deep jump shot. That one way off the mark for Tweed. I mean, to score 60 points in the game. Half of those, at least, are from the free throw line. Collins, left hand. Talk about taking the offensive load. Sharon Collins, really aggressive, going to the basket. 25-22, Collins with 15 in the first half on 7 of 9 shooting. Now coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Greg Anthony, and Seth Davis will take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament, and they will get you caught up on all of the latest tournament news, plus an AT&T Naismith watch update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Your reaction to some of the games yesterday on the first day of the tournament? Well, everyone thought the Virginia Commonwealth would have a chance against UCLA, and it came down to a last shot. And how about Gonzaga coming back on Akron, but for eight minutes in the second half, I've never seen such absolutely terrific team play. Gonzaga distributed did a nice job going to their strengths. Probably the best basketball we saw yesterday. Western Kentucky also with the upset against Illinois, and some feel that it wasn't an upset. Woodside backs it up, 14 to shoot. They want the ball in his hands as the shot clock runs out, and he's bumped by Collins. So let's take a look at our game summary. 25-22 the score. Well, again, North Dakota State reliant on the three-point shot as well as Kansas inside. Both teams playing to their strengths. Finally get it in bounds to Mike Nelson. Woodside kicks it out. Nelson deep. Aldrich can't hold on to it. Morris has the rebound. The one thing you watch when you see Ben Woodside, it seems like he gets a step on his defender every time. 
Nelson again off the Collins miss and he'll peel it back and here comes Woodside. What you like about Woodside is his ability to change gears with the ball in his hand. Yeah, I mean, that's what gets him past his defender. He's not the absolute quickest guy, although he has some quicks. But the change of pace. Deep again. Got it. Big Ben. Ties the game at 25. And North Dakota State hanging right with the defending national champions. And as we said, the longer they hang, the more they believe that this game is theirs. Good post move for Marcus Collins. Marcus Morris, excuse me. And good recognition by Kansas time and score situation. Let's not take the quick perimeter shot when our advantage is down low. Here's a pick and roll again, Woodside. Winkleman trying to create space. And a reach in foul coming up against Kansas. 6.47 to play. Two point ball game in Minnesota. Greg Gumbel in New York with an update for you. Johnny Flynn and the Syracuse Orange continue to just light it up. Flynn has 10 points. Syracuse enjoying its biggest lead of the game. They're up on Stephen F. Austin by 20 with a minute 11 to play. Gus and Len, back to you in Minneapolis. All right, Greg. Johnny Flynn, spectacular in that six overtime in the Big East tournament against Connecticut. We'll see another. Johnny Flynn type point guard here in Minnesota. A man from Boston College that can do some similar things. Yeah, you're talking about Tyrese Rice, another guy who leads his team, certainly can put points on the board, but his team is better when he scores less. If you had any idea of whether or not Syracuse had any legs left there for an epic Big East tournament, six overtimes, and following up that with another overtime win. You know, it put that to rest right there. Slip side again. Well. With the banker. And he ties it at 27. He has 12 points in the first half. Collins has 15. Inside Aldridge kept it up high and pounds it down. Well, that's the answer. It doesn't need Kansas doesn't need Sharon Collins to answer Ben Woodside. They've got the big fella inside, and as I mentioned earlier, a variety of options to get him the ball, whether it's the alley oop or the straight entry pass from the coach. Woodside kicks it out. Deep jumper. Off the mark for Vaughn. Loose ball. Picked up Winkleman. They'll get a new shot clock. And here's where Kansas really has exercise fundamentals. Blocking out on the defensive glass. North Dakota State very scrappy. They'll get in. And they'll get their hands on balls. Keep them loose and alive. Winkleman, 18 to shoot. Driving with 10 on the shot clock. He gets hung up. Now fires anyway. That's a brick. Long rebound. Tracked down by Reed. That was outstanding man to man defense right there by Kansas. Jump shot, and that is pure. Morningstar with his first basket of the game, and Kansas takes a 32 27 lead. The morning star, definitely a long-range shooter. 44% from beyond the arc on the season, led the Big 12 in three-point field goal percentage. Largest lead of the game for Kansas. Woodside again, the runner, but he fouls. He is fouled and will go to the line. Uh, CBSSports.com covers every moment of the madness. Get the latest expert analysis and updates, plus live scoring and stats from every game. It's all at CBSSports.com. Morningstar call for the foul, his second. Morningstar serves as the inbounder. Flowers knocked away. Jayhawks get to the basket, up and in. Tyshawn Taylor draws the foul and will go to the line. But Tyshawn Taylor has been a very good support guy on the offense, averaging 15 points over the last five. And with 4.41 to play in the first half, Kansas takes a 34 to 27 lead.
Well, back here in Minneapolis, the heat is coming from the point. <laughs> as we see Ben Woodside and Sharon Collins both just lighting it up. But for North Dakota State, Ben Woodside needs some help. He's five for six from the field. The rest of the team, five of 18. Sharon Collins certainly getting help. He's seven of 10. But his team in support, eight of 16 from the field. So Kansas shooting the ball well. The great equalizer, though, for North Dakota State is the ability to knock down threes. Seven unanswered points for Kansas. Biggest lead of the game. And Woodside again manages to get to the basket 14 points in the first half. 34 to 29. Woodside is six of seven from the field. Taylor with the ball. Baseline shot off the mark, and the rebound goes to North Dakota State. Mario Little couldn't get it to fall. Nice. Putting a number of guys on Ben Woodside. You got Tyshawn Taylor now. Sharon Collins had been guarding him. Brady Morningstar had a hand. 3.48 to play in the first half. 34-29. Back to Minneapolis right after this. Some shining moments turned in yesterday in the NCAA tournament. Well, obviously, Sally helped bail Memphis out from a tough game against Cal State Northridge. LSU, a team that was representing the SEC, who had meager representation in the NCAA tournament, certainly prevailed over Butler. And Tyler Hansbrough, congratulations, becoming the all-time ACC scorer, passing J.J. Redick in their game against Radford. Reed. Along with Taylor, who drives the baseline, has that one knocked out of his hands and out of bounds by Dewan Flowers. So the winner of this game takes on the winner of our next game, West Virginia and Dayton, the 6 versus 11. And, 11. and if Kansas right now, with this five-point lead, wants to prevail, this is an opportunity for them now with North Dakota State about to go into the penalty on the free throw line. Don't settle for perimeter jumpers unless they're wide open. Go inside. Draw fouls, get good shots. Aldridge with a nice catch and finish inside. And that's what they want. Points in the paint. And on the other end, Ben Woodside, the guy with the hot hand, make him give it up. Force somebody else to beat you. Nelson driving. Short. Flowers there. And a tie-up jump ball. And the possession arrow favors Kansas. Vitamin Water Revive is asking fans to revive their game-winning moment at NCAA.com for a chance to win a trip to this year's men's Final Four in Detroit. And Gus, on that last exchange, Kansas doing exactly what they need to methodically build this lead. They need a cushion going in at half, feel good about themselves, because they know that North Dakota State with the three-point shot certainly can come back in a hurry. A nice job there on the drive, getting in the paint. High percentage shots forcing North Dakota State to play deep. And there's the double team just forcing Woodside to give it up. And they throw it out of bounds. 38 to 29. Largest lead of the game for Kansas. Coach Self has led three teams into the NCAA tournament. Tulsa, Illinois, as well as this Kansas team winning the national title last year over Memphis. Again, the size advantage right here. Don't let the metal up off the pedal and continue to get in the paint. Collins working hard. Flowers pulls it down. North Dakota State can't fall asleep. Here's Woodside to the basket. That's a goaltending call. So Woodside picks up his 16th point. And Cole Aldridge, terrific shot blocker over two a game. Just a step too slow as Woodside gets it on the glass before Aldridge gets there. Good follow right there as the ball hits the backboard first before Aldridge gets a hand on it. But the quickness of Ben Woodside beating the defense down the floor. Woodside from Albert Lee, Minnesota. About 45 minutes from here. Here come the Bison. Winkleman, quick release. Count it. Well, we told you the three-point shot, the great equalizer 
North 30. Dakota looking to try to balance this thing out with the three ball. So North Dakota State getting back in this game 38-34 after trailing by nine. The Bison, 7 of 12 from the three-point line this afternoon. And we told you they can shoot it in transition, and Kansas has to be aware and get the shooters on an exchange of the ball. But on the other end, after going inside and having great success in building a lead, suddenly Kansas's guards are looking to try to penetrate and do it themselves instead of looking for the big fella. There you go. Aldridge from Collins. Great play out of a timeout coming up. Bill Self is quite aware of that, and he's got to make it, he's got to make it clear to his team that this is how we build the lead, use our advantage. 40 to 34. Aldridge with eight points in the first half. And on the other end, no con uncontested threes. Got to be able to get a hand in the face of the shooter. And Woodside bumped up top. One fifteen to play in the first half. Kansas a three versus North Dakota State a fourteen, and the Jayhawks have led by as many as nine points. But Ben Woodside, the star player for North Dakota State, has sixteen points in the first half, and he is trying to keep this team out of the Summit League in the game with the ball now. Well, this is a game where North Dakota State has to rely on the three-point shot as well as Ben Woodside by himself. Woodside short that time. And a foul on the rebound. Now the winner of this game takes on the winner of our next game, West Virginia, a six versus Dayton. That's the Big East versus the Atlantic 10. On the offensive side, Kansas, they've established Sharon Collins as being a threat out there and then to build the lead. They've been able to go inside to their big people, particularly Cole Aldridge, four or five from the field with eight points. But every once in a while, when they get away from that, they get away from looking to the big guys, they get away from penetrating, and they misfire. North Dakota State able to push the ball back up the floor and get some open looks from beyond the arc, and that's why they're hanging around. Saul Phillips. Three years as an assistant at Wisconsin. Three years as an assistant here at North Dakota State. He is in his second year as the head coach. And Fargo, second free throw, no. And the rebound for Winkleman. He is five rebounds away from being the all-time leading rebounder in school history. And Woodside, the floater this time off the mark. Long outlet pass, tracked down by Appleton. Good job on the pull-up, but poor pass. Cross-court pass not necessary when you take a look at the time with about 42 seconds left. On the other end, though, it's pretty good defense by Marcus Morris. Woodside fouled by Aldrich. Now, why do you foul an outstanding free-throw shooter 40 feet away from the basket when all you have to do is contain until you get help? So that will allow Woodside to head to the line and shoot free-throws. I mean, I know Ben Woodside's got some range, but <laughs> not that far. Not from the hash mark. So Woodside, as Aldridge picks up the foul, and that is his first. Woodside is an 84% free throw shooter. But that's almost like giving away two points when your big guy, even though he's helping out on the hedge or helping outside 40 feet from the basket, all you need is to extend it and really kind of contain. But right there, they dodged one as Woodside, 84% free throw shooter, misses. So Kansas spreads the floor. They'll play for one shot. Collins has been sensational. He has 15 with it right now and has had no problems penetrating and getting to the bucket. Ten to go. Now we'll get into it. Step back jump shot. Pure. And that is the end of the first half. Kansas closes on a 16-7 run. Collins with 17 points. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, Gus, thank you. Meanwhile, West Region action in Boise, Idaho. Marquette with a 26-18 lead on Utah State. Final minute of play. Craig Bowlerjack, Bob Wenzel. So play in the first half. Utah State trying to make a run at Marquette.
McNeil takes the shot. Wesley crashes the board, and now Utah State will play for the final shot. Bob, they cut this game to six. They hit a three. It's five. You thought they'd go to Wilkinson for that shot. I think they're going to Quayle. He's the only guy on the team that can create his own. Nope, the big fella will take it three off the rim. McNeil climbs the ladder and grabs a rebound as the horn sounds. That's the end of the first half here in Boise. Marquette 26, Utah State 18. We'll send you the great gumble with AT&T at the half. After these messages, you're watching CBS Sports, exclusive home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Sonic, Sprint, Chevy, and by ExxonMobil. And welcome back, 43 to 34, Kansas leading North Dakota State at halftime. Gus Johnson along with Len Elmore and Lenny uh, at the end of the first half Kansas started going inside and that turned out to be the difference in the in the game. Well they're certainly playing to their strengths 11 of 18 in the paint and they've done a terrific job on the offensive glass uh, five offensive rebounds have led to nine points so Kansas with their size getting the job done but North Dakota State still going to their strength which is a three point shot and they've been shooting extraordinarily well seven of 13. All right, let's take a look at the box score from the first half, and this box score is brought to you by CBS College Sports Network, Cable's home for NCAA March Madness. Again, Ben Woodside with 16 points, 7 of 10 from the field, but he also has four turnovers as Kansas has really done a nice job going after him, and Sharon Collins really getting it done in getting Kansas off to an excellent start. But we talk about Ben Woodside, and you talk about a quick first step seems to get head and shoulders past his man anytime he wants and certainly that sets them up to be able to hit the three ball but Sharon Collins started this game hot 8 of 12 from the field including one of two from beyond the arc 17 points he really got his team started off nicely as well Aldrich for Kansas with eight points and five rebounds in the first half and they really started to look for him as the half came to an end so let's see if the North Dakota State Bison have some answers for the inside play of the Jayhawks of Kansas. Well, for Kansas, they're really thinking again, maintain the consistency on defense. Woodside's going to get his, but you certainly have to make sure that he doesn't get any help. He's got 17 points, no one else in double figures. 16 points, I should say, no one else in double figures. And if they can do that, come down on the other end, continue to go inside, get points in the paint, and build this lead. You know, they can kind of put these buys in a way. But that's easier said than done. So Woodside, Winkleman, along with Mormon, Tweet, and Nelson on the court to start the second half. Winkleman driving on the baseline. High Archer goes down. He's got great touch. He certainly do. Had a 42 consecutive game double figure scoring streak in in the Summit League Championship, but he's been a consistent scorer throughout his career with North Dakota State. He had nine, there they go again, Aldridge, all day, Aldridge with 10 points now. And that, I was gonna say, Gus, that's a sign of an experienced team understanding exactly what they have to do to extend this lead. Woodside, that one's short, tracks down his own rebound, kicks it out and it's stolen. They find Taylor ahead of the field. And the freshman bangs it down. Well, how about that? North Dakota State gets Ben Woodside for an open look. And he's a 43% shooter from beyond the arc. He comes up short. Kansas turns it into a transition bucket. A bit demoralizing. Largest lead of the game for Kansas. Winkleman. Mormon's got to look at the basket. He's got to contain Aldridge. And Aldridge has to stop reaching. And Aldridge picks up the foul. That's his second. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Learn more about Chevy Innovations at Chevy.com. But Cole Aldridge, with that reach, doesn't have to 
reach for the ball. He just has to extend himself and make it difficult to shoot over when he switches out on the guard. Done a better job there. Inside, Winkleman, quick turn. Batted around, picked up. Here come the Jayhawks. Taylor to Collins, quick release. And the rebound to Tweed. So let's see how smart North Dakota State is. Aldridge has two fouls. If they can go at him, deep jumper. That one's short. Well, the problem for North Dakota State is that Lucas Mormon, their center at 6'10", playing out near the free throw line, is not really a guy that's going to go to the basket. But he has to turn and face and make himself a threat, draw Aldridge out of the middle, and it makes it a lot easier for his guards and his forwards to be able to penetrate. Woodside, baseline, jump shot, tweet, and he hits it. Mike Tweet and the South, the North Dakota State Bison hanging around 47 39 now. And a steal. Woodside. Collins is back. Woodside in the basket and he will go to the line. And one thing about Woodside, he plays under such control, Glenn. You wouldn't know if he has 50 points or five. You're looking right there, Tyshawn Taylor hesitates, and that gives Woodside enough time to shoot the gap. And you saw the bump right there from Sharon Collins. I'll tell you what, again, it comes down to being able to play to your strengths, not to hesitate as, as Taylor did in the paint. But if you leave him open, Ben Woodside will make you pay. And you take a look. He made Stephen F. Austin pay. Tie the NCAA record with Pete Maravich for free throws made. Second one good. Woodside with 18 points. And just like that, North Dakota State back in the game down by six. They've trailed by as many as 11. That gets the crowd back into it. 5-0 run. For the Bison, inside Aldridge. Turnaround jump shot. Rims off. Winkleman wakes it. Much better job by Mormon taking position away from Aldridge, forcing him to shoot over instead of allowing him to get the lob. That one short. Batted up. Counted on the foul. Tweet. Quick jumper. And he will go to the line and shoot one. So here we go. North Dakota State right back in it. Forty-seven, forty-three. Kansas leading North Dakota State, but the Bison have scored seven unanswered points and are at the free throw line right now. Mike Tweet with the tip in, looking to cut it to three. Well, this has been a game where Kansas goes into the half with a nine-point lead, seemingly playing to their strengths, rolling along. But they came out here in the second half, kind of stumbled a little bit on the offensive end, a couple of turnovers. Next thing you know. The Bison are back in the ball game. Tyrell Reed running the point now. They move Collins off the ball. Now he backs it up. Morris comes out the screen. Collins off the dribble. Now Kansas starting to rush their shots a bit. Yeah, and they're not exploring inside. I mean, really what's going to make North Dakota State's defense change is get the ball in, play some inside out. Winkleman. Woodside facing on Collins with the step and the banker. Short. Well, the presence of Cole Aldridge made Woodside pull up short that time as Aldridge came over to help. Reed. And he gets his own rebound. New shot clock for the Jayhawks. And they got a reset. You see Cole Aldridge come in the game late. When you're playing a transition game, taking the big man out of the game. There's a lob, Aldridge. They get him right back in it. Well, again, it came down to setting up in the half court, allowing Aldridge to get back in the flow. If you're starting to go racehorse baseline to baseline, that favors North Dakota State because Cole Aldridge is relegated to running free throw line to free throw line. Tweet trying to get a quick three to go down and a foul on the rebound. And this will go against Lucas Mormon. Take a look here. Getting back in the ball game is Cole Aldridge as his team sets up in the half court, throws the alley. And Aldridge provides the oop. 
Welcome back and a look at the tournament summary. Well, Memphis, a team a lot of people think has something to prove, not getting the number one seed, survives Cal State Northridge. And Western Kentucky playing an Illinois team depleted without their leader, Chester Frazier. And the guards, A.J. Slaughter, Orlando Mendez Valdez, took advantage of that. Collins on the baseline, 49 to 44, Kansas with the lead. Jayhawks have led by as many as 11. Inside, ball knocked away and stolen by Mike Tweed and a foul. And don't forget, NCAA March Madness On Demand is streaming every game from the NCAA Championship online for free. Watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. Okay, in this half, it seems that Kansas a bit tentative on the offensive end. You know, not really throwing passes with confidence. You saw that turnover. We've seen Tyshawn Taylor hesitate a little bit. And Tweet gets the roll. He's playing right into North Dakota State's hands. Tweet had three points at halftime, 11 now, three-point game. Remember, you have four seniors on this North Dakota State team. A lot of young guys playing for Kansas. And a foul. And not only are they seniors, they're redshirt seniors. All of them redshirted, recognizing that once they got to Division I and the eligibility period had passed, they'd have this opportunity their last year to be able to play in the NCAA tournament for Division I. And the five-year plan seemed to have worked out for Saul Phillips and his guys. And that experience many times makes the difference. Reed facing on Winkleman. Collins working hard around screens. Down the lane, the kick. Morningstar. Got it. I tell you, Brady Morningstar led the Big 12 in three-point field goal percentage. That's his shot. And a nice play again by Kansas kind of riding themselves after stumbling have been on the offensive end. Flowers working on Aldrich, has that one blocked. Aldrich just kept his hands high in the air. It's all he has to do, he's got tremendous reach. Collins driving, Winkleman clears it. Here comes Woodside. Off the dribble again, gets there, and it's kicked. But one of the guys that needed to help Ben Woodside, Michael Tweet, we talked about him, 21 points in the Summit Tournament Final. And today he's kind of lighting up, picking up where he left off, averaging about 17 points over the last two games. At the beginning of the second half, we said Ben Woodside needs a little bit of help from his friends. And Michael Tweet more than happy to comply. Winkleman, he also needs to continue to score. The jumper inside goes down, and he has 10 points. 52 to 48. Well, we said one of the keys is not to allow the Bison to stick around and put him to pass for Kansas. Thought they had done that, but somehow they ran out of the gate, man, and started to stampede a bit, kicking up some noise. Collins backs it up with 10 to shoot. Shake and bake. 20 footer. Got it. Wow. 19 points. For Sharon Collins. Uh, you see the toughness from Sharon Collins right there. Wow. And you see the toughness from Woodside as he gets there as well. 20 points for him. Collins the other way, the teardrop. And it rattles down. You are seeing two excellent point guards here in college basketball. Well, outstanding from the standpoint of not playing the pure point guard position but being able to carry their team on the offensive end, create a threat so they can get guys involved later on. It looked like a foul right there. Contact created. No call. Read the other way. Aldrich comes out the screen, pick and roll. Collins has been deadly. Stop and start. Baseline Morningstar. High arc or no. Good challenge by Ben Woodside on Morningstar's three. Defensive intensity picking up on both sides. Wow. Woodside splitting the defense. Got it. And the foul. I tell you what, folks. This kid is a ball. This is Steve Nash right here in Minnesota. 11.48 to play. 56-52.
Greg Gumbel in New York with an update for you from Dayton, Tennessee, and Oklahoma continue to go back and forth. Tyler Smith scoring inside here. Tennessee has jumped on top now by 154-53. Back to Minneapolis, Gus Johnson, Len Elmore. And thank you very much, Greg. Now we have a tight one here as well. 56-53. Kansas, a number three, taking on 14th seed at North Dakota State. Well, I talked about the defensive intensity picking up so much so that the big people for Kansas are being pulled outside as they're trying to deny, and that's opened up the middle twice in a row now for Ben Woodside. Collins, another jump shot, this time off the mark. And unlike Ben Woodside, who was focused on getting into the paint off the bounce, Sharon Collins settling for the jump. Woodside again, and he's fouled. So we have had seven lead changes and four ties in this game. Let's take a look at our game summary by half. And in the first half, North Dakota State using the three ball to stay in the ball game. Kansas going inside. And in the second half, it's just the opposite. North Dakota penetrating, particularly Ben Woodside, getting into the paint, and Kansas settling for jump shots. So Taylor called for the foul, non-shooting foul, his second. Three rises from 20. In and out. And an over-the-back foul coming up. And it will go against Winkleman. And that's his first. Saul Phillips knows that his team is in this game. You have to feel good if you're North Dakota State with 11-16 to play down by three. Appleton in the game along with Taylor, the freshman. Morris off the dribble and a whistle and foul. He was bumped. North Dakota State fans wanted to travel, but they won't get it. Watch live look-ins, in-game highlights, and more all night on NCAA March Madness Central, powered by Pontiac. Tomorrow night at 7.30 only on the CBS College Sports Network. At least on this possession, Kansas recognizing they've got to put pressure on the North Dakota State defense by trying to get into the paint, going inside and not settling for jumpers. Four fouls on Mormon, so Sam Suenguth checks in. He wears number 34 green. Reed, driving, elevates, in and out. Tweet with another rebound. One and done for Kansas. And you see North Dakota State defensively sagging back. Woodside driving. Baseline tweak, catch and shoot. Won't stay down. Bison getting good looks. Taylor the other way, dribbles it out of bounds. Well, we'll see if Kansas starts to feel the anxiety. The longer North Dakota State sticks around, the digger, the deeper the hole that Kansas is going to dig. It's called the Archie Bell and the Drill Syndrome. <laughs> Tighten up. That's right. 56-53. You're too young to know about that. <laughs> My father played that music. From Houston, Texas. Tweet wide open. Now Collins wants to take this game over. You can feel it. Yeah, but he's got to do it judiciously. He can't force shots like he did there. Has it blocked. Picked up Winkleman. To the basket. And an offensive foul. That's an offensive foul against Winkleman. And that's a good defensive play by Reed. Sharon Collins has to not only create for himself, but when that shut off, create for others. That time he forced it. And look at Reed backpedaling. Now he's going to take the path. Right there, an excellent job. Anticipating, taking the spot, holding him, drawing the charge. Lobbed inside, Aldridge, great catch. Excellent hands. No basket. No basket, but he is fouled. And you see what a magnet Cole Aldridge is for those green shirts. And don't forget the winner here takes on the winner of West Virginia and Dayton. A 6-11 game coming up next. West Virginia, tremendous rebounding team. Dayton, an outstanding defensive team. Sue and Booth picked up the foul, his first. 
Lobbed inside Aldridge again, and he's fouled again. Back to basics for Kansas. They built the lead that they went in the half with by doing exactly that. Sharon Collins got him started, but Aldridge is the one that helped build the lead by getting it inside, putting the pressure on North Dakota State. And Kansas going back to that plan. And Aldridge, a very good free throw shooter, 80% on the season. And he gets the first. Monday on CBS, the CSIs are being hunted. Don't miss a new episode of CSI Miami Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. Three fouls on Winkleman. And that's what Kansas has been able to do by going inside. Four fouls on Mormon, their starting center. Three on Winkleman. Kansas continues to work that plan inside out. They might win this game through attrition. Woodside again slashing to the basket. He's beating them at will. Incredible 25 points. Collins trying to answer and does. Collins. You are seeing two little fire plugs at point guard. Collins has 23. Pick and roll again. Woodside. Winkleman will find his point guard straight away. And Aldridge goes up high. 60 to 55. And eternity remaining in this game. Aldridge. And he's fouled. Well, we talked about Kansas trying to work inside out. But for this game, it's always been the point guards right from the jump. And Ben Woodside, Sharon Collins just answering each other. We're seeing a tremendous display of scoring point guard skills. The only drawback with Ben Woodside, the five turnovers, he's seen an awful lot of pressure from the Kansas defense. Suaguth picks up his fourth foul. Aldridge. One and one. Aldridge missing. Now Woodside stop and start again, and he's fouled. And that should send him to the line to shoot one and one in the runaway hit of the season. Simon Baker stars in a new episode of The Mentalist at a special time. Tuesday at 10, 9 central on CBS, America's most watched network. So Collins picks up his third. Woodside at the line, one and one. And this is the man you don't want at the line. He's an 84% free throw shooter. 26 points for him. And he is 4 or 5 from the stripe today. Sharon Collins, such an integral part of this offense. Many times the only part of the Kansas offense. On the defensive end, he's going to have to switch. He's going to have to let Reed take Woodside to avoid picking up that fourth foul. Aldridge, another great catch and finish. Keep the big fella's hands full. That's right, keep them happy. Feed your horses, they'll work for you. 62, 57, 16 points. And you look at Reed now on Woodside. And a foul. And that will be the third on Aldridge. 7.57 to play, second half. North Dakota State heading to the free throw line. 7.57 to play in the second half. Kansas with a 62-57 lead over North Dakota State. Competitive game here in downtown Minneapolis. This young man has been spectacular. Ben Woodside, 27 points, shooting two at the line. And he has kept this North Dakota State team in this game. Well, he certainly has. The ball has been in his hands every possession and he's created for himself as well as others off the bounce not settling for jump shots on the other hand kansas a little more diverse on the offensive end but primarily it's been collins and aldridge and aldridge in particularly has had no one able to stop him if kansas can get him the ball collins deep three bang and that time you had aldridge and collins set up on the same side so it was hard to really pressure the ball, dropping back, trying to help on Collins gives, I mean, help on Aldridge gives Collins a wide open look. 
Sweet has also been good with the ball now. Woodside driving, cut off Aldridge, help defense. And that's what Kansas needs to do, keep Aldridge in the middle. And they turn it over, Morningstar. And he used his body to shield away the defender. Very clever move by Morningstar, and Mormon with foul trouble didn't even want to bother. 67 to 59. On Cole Aldridge, Mormon hasn't demonstrated he's a threat. I'm staying playing a one-man zone in that paint to help out on Ben Woodside until Mormon demonstrates he can knock the shot down. Woodside driving the runner. No call. Aldridge takes it away. Outlet to Collins. Here he comes. Leaves it. Gets it back downtown. And again, in transition, Cole Aldridge stayed back on the defensive end. Kansas has to recognize that their big fella's not running with him. Hold it up. Let him get down the floor because that poses the maximum threat. Meanwhile, North Dakota State needs some other players to step up and hit shots. Wiggleman picks up his dribble. Again, there's Aldridge playing that one-man zone, as I mentioned. Staying in the paint, deterring the drive. Ison almost threw it away. Nelson. And a shot clock violation. Now Kansas starting to stiffen it up on defense. And don't forget the winner of this game will take on the winner of our second game, West Virginia and Dayton. 67 to 59. Tyshawn Taylor walks it into the front court. Collins bounce pass Aldridge and a foul. Well, Kansas has found a variety of ways to get it to Cole Aldridge. Not only the straight in post entry, the alley oops, but here on the screen and roll. Just a nice job. Aldridge sets the screen for Collins, gets him free, and rolls to the basket. Pretty close bang bang situation there, but the aggressor gets the call and Aldridge going to the basket strong. So Lucas Mormon fouls out with three points. 547 to play. Saul Phillips thought that was an offensive foul. It's about as close as you can get. Nicole Aldridge, very dominant this afternoon. Well, again, he's got the size. And as long as Kansas continues to look for him, it's maximum pressure on the North Dakota State defense because you see Aldridge knows how to finish, but you got to get the ball in his hands. And if he's surrounded by green shirts, he's got to be able to kick it out to the surrounding jump shooters. Ironically, Cole Aldridge, a sophomore from Bloomington, Minnesota. So he's playing at home. And he gets a pair. Ten point lead for the Jayhawks, who have led by as many as 11, currently on a 7 0 run. And you see those frontline players. Foul trouble. Mormon out. Susan Goof and Winkleman in foul trouble. And again, look at Aldridge. Not even going out to guard Susan Goof. Playing that one man zone in the paint. And a timeout called by North Dakota State. Great perimeter defense by Kansas. Shooters not getting any looks. The game reset. Each team with three timeouts remaining. Shooting one and one. The possession arrow favors Kansas. 69-59. So all of a sudden, Bill Self and the Jayhawks have made an adjustment. And it's awfully hard for this North Dakota State team to get shots off on the perimeter. Well, again, they're really digging in, recognizing they've got the Big 12's leading shot blocker, Cole Aldridge, staying in the middle, trying to make sure nobody gets to the, to the rim. And right there, Ben Woodside says, OK, let me stretch the defense just a little. Woodside with 31 points. Five minutes to play. 69-61.
Taylor has been the man that has come in and served as a terrific backup point guard. Collins. You got to keep going to your bigs inside out. What side again? The runner. And a foul. So Sunday on CBS, you'll be moved and inspired by what you see when the amazing race travels to India. Sunday on CBS, America's most watched network. I'll tell you what, Gus, it really surprises me that Woodside's able to get into the paint every time Aldridge is pulled out. And Aldridge shouldn't be pulled out. The guy he's guarding, Sam Sissengooth, has only taken 16 shots on the season. And it seems like Woodside has been able to be effective in transition before that Kansas defense really has a chance to set. He's going as soon as he sees a, a slight opening as he hits the second free throw. But again, there really shouldn't be an opening, and particularly on the opportunities where Kansas can get back, set their defense. Cole Aldridge doesn't need to go out and guard anybody. He just needs to guard the paint. Taylor. Finds Collins down the lane, comes up short. Aldridge rips it, batted around. Who wants it? Picked up by Morris, and a new shot clock for Kansas. North Dakota State giving the national champs a run for their money here as Collins backs it up. They want it in his hands. High stream. Deals it out in the corner, draws a double. Nice. Finds a wide open Taylor block. Flowers. Blocks it out of bounds. Flowers with his third block. 12 to shoot. North Dakota State not finished yet. 69. 62 back after this. You're supposed to be. Right. I'll bet they weren't in the right location on that pass. You know what I mean? Like, you've got to be in a certain spot. If I Jamie find it, if I have to pick it up, I'm going to find you. Wayne Chisholm, one of the stars of this Tennessee team, is back now with 4.28 to go. He'll play with four fouls, but they need him. And it'll kick ball. Now they've got to figure out this puzzle, this trap. Now they're back into the regular zone. Prince inbounds. Prince, Tyler Smith, Bobby Mays. Here's Chisholm. Hobson. Which, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, anytime your bigs bounce it, uh, a lot of things can happen. Eton backs off Mays. Nine on the shot clock. Nice flash. Tyler Smith, foul called on Eton, and that's going to be number four on Byron Eton. And he's gritting his teeth, he knows, and smiling as well. That's, you know, that's a play you make when you don't have any. Yeah. You know, and he knows. He's such an experienced, tough kid. That is also the 10th team foul, so double bonus for the Volunteers for the duration. Uh, one of those small changes, that's what cutting does, too. It drags the D, you're not there on time. Tyler Smith, perfect at the line today, 7 of 7. Well, the NCAA did a great thing, Brent. We talked about it last week when they permitted him to play immediately after leaving Iowa. Yes. His dad was not well at the time. And Gave an opportunity because Buzz Peterson's uh, connection with Steve Alford, and then Buzz of course left, and the beneficiary was Bruce Pearl and this young man. And Tyler Smith's father did subsequently pass away. 18 points, 13 and a half for Tyler Smith, and it is a one-point game. Oklahoma State under four remaining. Harris, Eton. Him in front of you. That's the key if you're great. Nice. Oh, what a back door. How about that? How about that? And the pass from Moses. Beautiful job. Both ends. The cut and the pass. And the faulty D as well. Nobody led the cutter. Back into the zone. Page is looking out of Chisholm saying, oh my gosh. I got that big guy. Yep, late. Tough shot. In and out. 12 to shoot. 
Here's Collins down the lane inside. Morris lays it up and in. Off the penetration, the dribble. Ron Collins now getting the field for distributing, creating for somebody else. He has eight assists to go along with his 26 points. 71-62. And again, look at Aldridge staying in the middle. I wouldn't step out there if I'm Kansas. I'm going to make sure no penetration in the paint. Winkleman can't get it to fall. Batted around. And a foul call. And that will send North Dakota State to the line. But by the same token, if you're keeping the big man in the middle, you got to come up with those rebounds. And the winner here will take on the winner of our next game, West Virginia Dates. So Dewan Flowers at the line. Flowers will shoot two. And here comes a sub, Mike Nelson. Mike Nelson replaces Susan Guth. Susan Guth heads to the bench. Seventy-one sixty-four. As Collins takes his time and taxis into the front court, pick and roll with Morris. Right now, Kansas obviously trying to ex exercise some patience, but still looking inside. Morris driving, baseline, Aldridge pounds it down. Beautiful interior passing. Well, it's the mobility of Marcus Morris at the top that created that, putting it on the floor. Ball knocked out of Woodside's hands. 73-64. Kansas, a three versus North Dakota State, a 14. Woodside going to the ball. You see Flowers steps out, Aldridge is guarding him, Aldridge doesn't bite. Woodside three deep. Pure. 35. The Bison refuse to go away, but they need stops. 73-67. With about two minutes left now, Kansas looking to milk the clock. Try to utilize clock before they go into their offense. Right. Here they go. Collins turns the corner, driving up no. Oh! With a spectacular tip jam. And one. That was an outstanding follow by Cole Aldridge, but it came off the penetration. Incredible. Aldridge putting on a show in his home state. 22 points, 13 rebounds. He said it before at the beginning of the telecast. Cole Manning in the middle on both ends. Defensively, the one-man zone on the offense. He's starting to dominate in the paint. And a lane violation called against Winkleman. So Aldridge adds the free throw. 76-67. Woodside. Baseline. Good. Oh. And Collins pulls it down and will take his time. Much better defense. If you know Cole Aldridge, a terrific shot blocker, is back there in the middle, you don't want to give Woodside any room. You want to make him drive as opposed to allowing him an open look because with an open look, he'll bury you. All the young point guards out there watch Collins. He's so good in space, so low with the dribble, can get anywhere he wants. Oh, my goodness! Woodside the other way. Now here in transition, I'll just make sure he gets back quickly. Winkleman three. Got it. Timeout, North Dakota State. So we got a six-point game, two possessions, 107 to play. And on a miss, 
Kansas has to be wary of the shooters in transition. They're not looking to get. Now this is where Tennessee can be very tough on inbounds pass. They, they frequently close turnovers. Oh, they, time. they just rag you and get after you. Dribbled it off his right foot. Now Moses is going to have to be dragged by Chisholm. Now they're back in the zone now. And they've been dribble driving. They've been right in there with the Oh, not a good look. Chisholm. He had a kick to the corner to Mays. Timeout. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. 89 seconds to go. Tied at 72. Uh, just one of those forced issues on both ends, but Tennessee gets all over your inbounders. They like to have you loop the ball and run a, a safety after it. Greg Gumbel in New York will keep you posted on what happens in Dayton. Meanwhile, in Minneapolis, Kansas with a six-point lead on North Dakota. Let's listen in to Gus and Lynn. One minute to play. Now that's a strange play. Why would Nelson foul him? That sends him right to the free throw line. They didn't need a foul. Two possession ball game. I guess in their minds they're going to make this an opportunity for Kansas to tighten up if they can. Kansas pretty good free throw shooting team about 73 percent. And Collins their best free throw shooter at 80 percent. And the second free throw is good. 28 points for Collins. Here comes Woodside. The runner. And batted out of bounds by Aldridge. But more importantly, not only do you foul maybe a bit early, it's a two possession ball game, and I guess under a minute you want to maximize the possessions. But then if you're going to trade two for three, why take a two? Baseline. Winkleman, no good, and Collins with the rebound. Now North Dakota State has major trouble. Now they have to foul. I believe Mike Nelson fouled him on that last trip, and he really wasn't understanding what the situation called for. Today's Chevrolet players of the game are Ben Woodside, 35 today. Collins with 28. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Cole Aldridge with a terrific game, dominating inside, but these two guys control the basketball game for their respective teams. First free throw good for Sharon Collins. 32 Josh Vaughn replaces John Flowers for the Bison. Kansas folks hoping for that free throw to drop. Maybe an opportunity to kind of exhale. A 10 point lead with 44 seconds left. Again, this is an opportunity to pick up carefully. Tighten up on Woodside. Woodside on the baseline, and he hits another jump shot. And a foul. 80 to 72. And the Jayhawks will make the walk to the other end of the floor. So Tweet call for his third. Been a great season for North Dakota State, 26 and 6, winning the Summit League regular season and tournament, advancing to the NCAA Division I tournament for the first time. And on that last possession and continuing, Bill Self has gone small, getting Aldridge out of the game, getting all of his best ball handlers in the ball game right now, as well as the best perimeter defenders to make sure North Dakota State gets no open threes. And Kansas calls it.